Okay, so awkwardly I arranged to stream this and um, Timequake, you know, it's on a open or no, it's a closed playtest. Closed pre-alpha playtests and the game running. <laughs> Which is awkward. Um so yeah, like I have a requirement on my thing where I got the key from, because I was sent a key from the developer. It's in fact I got sent a few keys so that I could give some out to people. And obviously the game isn't released yet, you know, prone to bugs, but in this case it's a bug where the game won't let me launch. So it says playtime for five minutes. Also, you know, I've been trying to launch the game and it says it's running, but that was obviously the crash thing that just came up. Um, we're going to sit and see if it launches, because if it doesn't, you know, let's have a look at the store page at the very least and you can have a look at what it is, because obviously Ironically, it's not going to play the video when I'm actually streaming, but <laughs> yeah, okay, so we have this interesting looking game that is about, you know, time manipulation. It's a first person shooter, but you can also, like, <laughs> make the objects face through time and use them to do things on, um, you know, wind time and just explore the world. It looks pretty fun, key, and interesting, and probably very, very, very hard. Apparently there's like a 15 minute loop in which the whole of the place is going through such a bit of time loop, and you know, you're manipulating time to try and win this forever. So that's interesting. <laughs> but, you know, if the game won't launch, then that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> You can stay up to play time, Greg. Um, but it's out of my control, isn't it? Because, you know, we're trying to launch the game and we get this crash report that comes up every time. And, you know, I don't want it on my records on the thing where I accepted the key. Didn't make content because I want to. And I'm trying, and it's literally only today that the playtest is going on. <laughs> Which is a problem. But when I first installed it, it was also fighting against the antivirus. A vast antivirus was like, we need to just check this to make sure that this works and you know make sure it's not a virus and then the crash reports had kept coming up and it was just like causing an endless feedback loop but yeah like it's out of my control i would like to very much be streaming this right now but it seems i'm not able and you know if if they fix it i'll be back as long as i've got a key to be able to get it and i think the key is only for today's play test though so that's a problem but yeah i did plan this whole stream that i was going to stream this but it's not possible but you should if you like the look of it go check out timequake for yourself on steam it's a shame i don't get to play it because i was interested another crash report <laughs> <laughs> impossible to prove the game i think it crash reported sent in the crash report which is interesting uh but yeah it's on online pvp I... really <laughs> now you launch i guess we do get to play it after all well that's embarrassing I was just about to end the stream and then it's like, oh, oh, you're going to end the stream. Okay, let's make sure you actually get to do this. Oh, well, I didn't get to change any of the settings awkwardly because I was going to load it up and do all the settings beforehand. But obviously, you know, we were having this crash issue. So we weren't able to, but now, now it just load. <laughs> For whatever reason, it just decided, well, we've got to let you load. Okay, we get to play it. There are... 
don't know, plus five people. Um, let's... Frame limit 60. We go full screen. And we hope that we don't crash the game by doing any of this. 1920 by 1080. Okay. You know, we're fixing all of the things that might cause problems. Because <laughs> it's funny that none of this was working beforehand. Okay, and again, you know, this is stuff that I would have sorted out beforehand. Okay, so in the meantime, use it, because in case you're copyright and get copyright claims, that goes down to next to nothing. Okay, no copyright claims. I do not want that. Um, just to be safe and prevent crashes, we are going to... I'm going to turn it down to medium. Like, we could probably play it on ultra, but... I just don't want it to crash, because I don't think it would ever load again, considering how much effort it took to get it to load in the first place. Okay, um... Push to talk is B. No, open mic. Thank God, open mic is turned off in the first instance. Thank you, game devs that actually give a damn and know what they're doing. Because always on open mic to begin with is just goddamn awful and <laughs> not good for anyone. And then all the people that are streaming it, you just hear all of them or, you know, people randomly shouting and nonsense and just like, yeah, no, we got some. Okay, we haven't got some chances. Um, okay. Coming soon. I think I'll choose coming soon. What could possibly go wrong with that? Assault rifle. I mean, the LMG might be good as well. I'm going to stick with the grab grenades. I definitely won't break it by picking coming soon, right? <laughs> Copium, we're not going to break the game by choosing an option that isn't actually an option. An option that's just called coming soon. But the whole game is coming soon. But, you know, we might look a little different to everyone else that's probably just gone in and base whatever you were given. But yeah, let's see. Oh, game joining already. Perhaps. <laughs> we'll see how long the loading is to get into a game. Considering... It is a closed re-release playtest. But, you know, if anyone would like a code to come join and play, then that would be, you know, I've got some to come join the playtest for people that are watching. Pointing his finger up. Okay. Coming soon. Why are we a different character? <laughs> okay, launching. We hear people shooting. Pushing 0.2.4. The enemy's defenses. Okay, we're inside the box. Um, we're in a big open empty nothing and... <laughs> this is pretty alpha playtest. I'm sure once we've got protectors loaded in, <laughs> we'll be able to do some things. Okay, well, our character feels slow as heck. Um, how do I... That doesn't move the mech through time. That's a shield. How do I... I'm trying to make the mech move. That moves me forward in time. How do I manipulate the objects through time? Because I kind of want to... Tell the mech, go forth. But that seems to not be a thing, right? Um, are there teams? Am I just shooting anyone? I don't know if there are teams. Also, that grenade is hilarious. Okay, so I'm probably meant to be defending this defense object against them. Sorry. Wow, that guy has the dodges. Okay, so I'm meant to be using... Killed by Unjustice. Okay, it says you the four of these, so I'm guessing we have a different gun that's um, protecting our past, the time force. I've been moved to the other team for whatever. That's hilarious. 
Instant rebalancing! You died. You go stop onto the other team now. Okay, there's a rewind button. I am chaser. Let's see. Hilarious! <laughs> um, something happened. We got to do nothing. I don't know how you move the mechs and all the cool things that it said, you know. It's in some menu. We did nothing. We died once. That's amazing. <laughs> Spits all over your face. Wish list now. A tutorial would have been nice. And sign up for the playtest at Playtime Quake. Considering the game isn't released yet, um, yeah, <laughs> have no idea how to do anything. Keyboard and mouse. Um, movement. Okay, forward, backwards, sprint. Obviously, we were sprinting. Mantle over things. Accelerate time is one. Okay. That was not on the bottom corner controls at all, so... That's really good. <laughs> no, disable time abilities. Mouse accessibility, use time abilities. Okay, we have middle mouse button powers as well. We, the time death and time shield and time rewind were down there and the grenades and everything. But the, the things to accelerate time and things, that was not shown anywhere. Overlays and shortcuts. Okay, team chat, ping. Right, let's return. Still looking for a game. Because we needed to know that stuff. <laughs> Here's me pressing the button that looked like move thing forward in time. One to the pictures down there, and it just makes us sprint forward like Tracer rather than actually move the mech forward. <laughs> but now that we know it's perhaps pressing one, we can get things to move in time perhaps if we get to get into a game for long enough because <laughs> that was an ongoing game and we were in it for like 30 seconds but again you know it's a play test i'm sure they'll make a tutorial for the full game and i'm sure you will get into games that aren't literally about to end and be switched onto the other team the instant we die once <laughs> and then it ends before we get to do anything. I'm sure that's not a regular occurrence. <laughs> you have to forgive bugs like it not launching and that. Because <laughs> again, you know, it's a playtest and let's to discover these bugs and things. I wonder if when I send the bug report it's like I'm supposed to be streaming this. <laughs> That's what fixed it. Maybe they saw the bug report and shit. We need to <laughs> actually let the person that we gave the key to stream it, stream it. <laughs> that might have been what happens. That might have been what fixed it. It is far too hot today. Okay, as we sit searching for a game. I'm sure... You would think that the people that just finished last last game would also be joining again for another game and we would get pretty much quickly into another game, but I guess we'll see how long the lobbies take in this. I don't know. No. Now the one did seem a lot quicker, you know, people joined pretty much straight away, but that was an ongoing game. Now this might have a thing like Overwatch where, you know, if you were in an ongoing game, you definitely next time are playing a game from the beginning, in which case that might be longer <laughs> to find a game because it has to fill a whole lobby. However big the lobbies are in this. No information. Still search. We will get something eventually, I am sure. Boom, 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 boom. I'm guessing there are going to be some sort of challenges to do things in the game. Because obviously, you know, it's up there. And that probably will unlock stuff like skins, I imagine. I don't know. We shall see. Okay. Waiting forever. The launch. 
<laughs> I'm gonna cancel and then research. Just because sometimes in games like this you get a curse lobby where it just doesn't load. You know, I've had that in Rainbow Six where so you just end up in the cursed lobby that never ever loads and you sat there for like half an hour. And it's never going to load and you can talk in the team chat <laughs> and everything and it's just like, you know, the instant you're able to talk in the team chat whilst it's loading, it's the cursed lobby and you're not getting in. But I am sure that there are, there's got to be more people than me streaming it as well, so there's going to be other people playing it, <laughs> considering it's a high test that's specifically designed at this time for people to be playing. But if anyone watching would like to play, I do have some extra codes to come join me. If you would like. It is 41 gigabytes, <laughs> so it might take a while for you to download it, but you know, it's... It's available. <laughs> God damn this heat wave that came out of nowhere. Like, bleh. and I need to do a cameo as well. <laughs> but, um, sweaty, sweaty gameplay, sweaty cameo. Mm, really attractive. <laughs> Too hot, and playing with your PC on in this heat is just like it's death. Well, here's where we sit in the lobby for longer than I like, <laughs> with nothing to talk about. Boom, boom, boom. Can't rotate the character either, which is, you know, at least that would be something you can do in the lobby. You need, if there's going to be long lobbies in a game, you really need something that you can do whilst you're sat in the lobby you know like some games give you a um, training range that you can go play in whilst you're waiting to load in that's something that you can do you know at least then you've got something entertaining to do and you know you can practice your own whilst you're doing it as well so that might be something fun that they might add later who knows my suggestion <laughs> Even if not a uh, full-on, like, you know, training range. Just something. Even, like, on-screen Pong or something. <laughs> just anything to do. Because we are not getting a game. And... I don't know how many people sit in lobbies waiting for ages. I hate waiting in lobbies forever, so... You know, it's... Games have ridiculously long lobs. I don't tend to play them. Like, I will sit for like a minute or so, but if you've got to sit there forever, you know, with nothing else to do, I would end up either going off doing something else or <laughs> something. You know? Boom, 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 boom. Ah, here we go. We've got a game. People connected. Let's go. Mr. Cardano, DC fan 200 and me. And the play button does nothing. <laughs> I'm ready. I... Ah, there we go. I've got a ready. <laughs> okay. I was just waiting for DC fan to ready up. I, I can understand why he wouldn't realise if he is ready or not, because Mr. Cardano is also unreaded. So I don't know if he realises play is like toggle ready, perhaps. Okay, here we wait for DC Fan 200 and Mr. Cardano to ready up. Otherwise, it's just me. I don't mind if it's just me. Okay, Mr. Cardano is readied up. DC Fan. Okay. DC fan, you need to ready up. You can't do text lobby, you can't hello? do voice. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Oh, lovely. How are you? I'm very good. 
Good to hear. How are you finding the loading screens? <laughs> ah, here we go. <laughs> Why DC fan not ready? Go for dinner. Okay, you can voice talk. You just have no on screen notification. You could the text one then. So. <laughs> And this is like, you know, get on with it, let us play the game. So just sit in loading screen forever. <laughs> At least someone to talk to is something. <laughs> you know, it's a bit more than just sitting here talking to yourself. Okay, so coalition forces have started. We can go in and we're gonna win. Not gonna die, and I'm probably gonna be playing against both of them, right? <laughs> Me versus both of them. Uh, you know, if the other guys may be AFK. Breaking through our defenses. Oh, now we get a tutorial. That's perfect. <laughs> I've left shift to sprint for five seconds. I'm sprinting for longer than five seconds. I don't see any sort of countdown. They completed. Um, jump and hold shifts to wall run. 20 meters. That was a bit of lag. <laughs> Wait. Well, I'm guessing we're meant to be attacking that. But at the same time, I'm also like doing the tutorial. So, no. what's end? <laughs> Just end the tutorial. That guy's going on the attack. So I'm guessing we're all in like tutorial modes. Um, someone started a car. That guy's probably further ahead in the tutorial than me. <laughs> okay, completed that. Um, hold spacebar to mantle three times. I mean, you know, I've already, like, done that <laughs> a few times. I guess I'll just do some loops. Okay. Ah! Huh? To attack, so I'm just gonna. Okay, well, I'm guessing I'm meant to destroy the tank. <laughs> Press thumb mouse button. Okay. Weird name for that. Uh, Press to throw grenades. I don't know where the enemy guy went. Well, we have to wait forever for, like, the cooldown on the grenades. That's good. I mean... I'll just grenade it. <laughs> but then to use ping system. Killed by DC fan. He's moving the tank forward, and I've got a tutorial. <laughs> Stop the tank breaking through our defenses. Stop the tank breaking through defenses. Okay, where's my the rest of my tutorial? Did the guy kill me? I guess I don't get to finish it. Okay, no, it's back. Okay, we destroyed it. Uh... Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> How are you meant to? You on my team? I this is not working. <laughs> also, Z is a weird button. I'm saying Z as well, which is weird. Why? How do I? This is not good. That's not rewinding, is it? <laughs> uh, holding Z, I'm holding Z, but then there's no way to select the up and down and Stop weird things like. Okay, that's just really awkward. That's really awkward to use. It's so awkward to use. 
Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't say it like that. Uh, tap the thing to dash three times. That was bad of ammo. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> I think the game's gonna end before I finish this tutorial. It's weird that they give you a tutorial whilst everyone else is in the natural mission, isn't it? You know, it's like... That bad guy. Okay. Why am I... Do we ever come at the advert <laughs> Get back here. We'll figure it out as <laughs> we go. Okay, that's, that's an interesting grenade down. Hi. <laughs> oh, the ADS is atrocious. Like, literally. Why can I not throw grenades? Am I out of grenades? Am I out of ammo? <laughs> okay, I think I'm out of ammo and grenades. This is good. <laughs> That's great. Uh, the ADS is like... I, I hate low sensitivity. I need to turn the sensitivity way up. Work. I was trying to fast forward that mech. <laughs> okay, at least we've got ammo now. Stop the tank. I'm fine. But I'm also trying to, like... Yeah, I don't think that's working, do you? <laughs> I don't think that's sending things through time. The mech doesn't seem to be moving. Okay, we got someone, because I stopped looking at the <laughs> tutorial uh, to select the rewinds, okay. I can't rewind it back to phone, maybe I did. Maybe I did. <laughs> maybe I rewound it back to being destroyed. Zero score, even, perfect. <laughs> maybe I rewound it to being destroyed again. <laughs> hey, we can repair things with the rewind beam. I think I just turned off my shields. That's hilarious. Okay, there we go. myself with the mech. Hilariously, I did. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> we can hang for Someone spawned camping up. I don't know why this mech doesn't work. That did something. That did something. I don't think that's fixed. 
makes it unfeasible. Work, mech. Work! Why don't you work? Okay, activate. <laughs> Is it shooting me? <laughs> Just kill it again. <laughs> don't let them have that tank. <laughs> You get no tank. Like, I don't get why some of these mechs don't work. Freeze. In. <laughs> okay, you need the mouse button to use the freeze beam for three seconds. Complete it. And get destroyed again. <laughs> you want that tank that bad? You don't get that tank. No furry, no tank for you. Because I'm already tracer. That's the mean goes. How's the mean game? I'm already Tracer. Um, is that it? We've finished the tutorialization. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I might not be good at shooting people because I can't see where they are half the time, but I'll just use the next to my advantage. Like, that's the point of the game. Okay, that's the problem. Did they wreck it? Wreck it. Why did this point again? Okay, they're too far forward now. I need to uh, forget that. That's that's dead. <laughs> no ammo. Okay, I was too busy focusing on one guy to get the other. But okay, we're not the worst on the leaderboards. You know, there are people up there, but we were top of the leaderboard for a little bit. That's not activatable. But we know what we're doing now. We went through the tutorial and we actually know what we're doing. Hello? Why can I not... That's not one that we can use. Defeat it! Well, <laughs> we got two kills! I'll take it! <laughs> not that we kind of knew what was going on. Uh, we unlocked some medals. Good for us. I wonder if people took so long to get back to the main menu because they didn't just do the leave game afterwards thing and just sat through that timing cooldown. Perhaps. I think that's what went on. <laughs> right, let's get back into another 10 minute lobby waiting for loading. We got some kills via a mech. <laughs> 
You know, it's a bit laggy. And also, I need to change the ADS. That ADS sensitivity. That's almost as high as it goes. That was horrible. I need like two or three on the sensitivity for that. That <laughs> that was 0 0.75 out of one, and it was slow with molasses to aim whilst ADSing. No, I need like three times that sensitivity. That is no, I I can't play like that. And I know that that's the way that so many professionals play with like ultra low sensitivity because they just stand on one slot and go and a papaga and bad at games <laughs> but i need to be able to aim quickly and aim and you know i guess the professional way is you don't actually aim down the sights until you're on top of them and then you micromanage the aim with the low sensitivity but that's not how i play you know, I I understand that's probably how some people play. They only aim down the sights once they've already got the reticle on the enemy. That's that's not fun. <laughs> you know, I want to be able to aim down the sights and then go point, 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 point at all the enemies. Not I'm aiming point, oh, root, point, root, point, root, point. <laughs> no, <laughs> not for me. So that would need to be, you know, more encompassing of every gameplay type to allow higher sensitivity. Let's hope one is enough, but if that was 0 0.75, I really doubt that the sensitivity is going to be remotely <laughs> in a way that I can play. So don't expect me to kill anyone because the sensitivity doesn't work for me. <laughs> it's not at the levels that I can play. But again, you know, this is pre-release, this is a playtest so they can find out these things and, you know, learn from it, so they would learn more sensitivity options <laughs> for people to play different that aren't people who just, like, point and then aim down the sights and, no, like, that's, that's not my playstyle. And, you know, understandably there's going to be less people playing than if it was released, so lobby loading times are probably going to be long <laughs> and you know obviously the inability to actually get it to load for like several attempts of loading <laughs> that'll be patched out they'll fix that we will see okay now should i maybe change one of the guns because obviously we're using the assault rifle that it starts with I'm not a sniper person. The LMG might not be too bad. Like, the amount of ammo you had on this as well was... Like, we were running out of ammo in no time, and... I just don't feel like... <laughs> the amount of damage that it does to the enemy for the, how little ammo you get... Mm, you know... You get to kill one person with that amount of ammo, and then you've got no ammo! And you just... What do you do then? Do you just die? It's the whole point you only use the mechs and things to do damage to people, especially if they got their shields up and they're good at dodging. Like, the... Or... What I haven't paid attention to. Because I reload when you... You know, after a few shots, I reload between engagements. Am I just throwing away whole clips of ammo? Like, do you not keep the ammo? Is it one of those ultra-realistic things where if there's excess ammo in the gun, you're throwing it on the floor and getting rid of it? And just like... Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that in games. I like games that are games. I don't want it to be... Oh, should I reload because I have like 13 bullets left in this clip? Or should I throw it away to get 30 so I have enough to actually survive an engagement and actually kill someone with the whole clip rather than running out mid clip and then having to reload to finish them off but at least we'll have ammo for everyone else because i don't know where my ammo got at least <laughs> don't know where i'd have finished because you know been playing for like 
half an hour. And, well, <laughs> most of that's been in the loading. So... <laughs> We haven't had much an opportunity to look at that, and most of that game I was doing the tutorial and figuring things out rather than actually playing the game, so again, you know, that wasn't really helpful <laughs> to figuring things out. Well, we figured out the controls and how to do things, but we didn't, you know, figure out where the ammo gauge is or how much ammo we have or anything. We now know how to play, but when we eventually get into a game. <laughs> but I'm sure upon release there will be more people playing, so loading times are likely to be less problematic. <laughs> okay, come on. I would like to play now though. And I bet the other people are also waiting to play. I don't know if the others are also streaming it. You know, DC fan and Whoever the other guy was. Hello. <laughs> I had to put a test out there with the push talk. We may be searching for a game that there might have been someone hidden in the, you know, in the loading that we could talk to. Possibly. Okay, so what is up with the arms? Like, one arm is, like, split open with the light that seems to be inside of our suits, and the other one doesn't seem to be. You know, the other ones all seemed up nicely. So, what's up with that? I'm guessing that's like the ammo gauge on there. Or like overheating? I don't know. <laughs> do, 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 do. And then obviously we got more grenades than we actually seem to actually have in the game. Because <laughs> we've run out of grenades and ammo and everything in the game. Okay, I would like to play. I would like to get into a game now. And there should be these other people that were sat there waiting as well. Like DC fan and the other guy. <laughs> I'm assuming they're also in the waiting to get into a game situation. There did actually seem to be quite a few people in there. But I don't know if some of those were perhaps bots. You know, there, there did seem to be several people on both sides, not just the three of us. Plus, you know, we actually saw the scoreboard there. It's like at least six, right? <laughs> In the end. So I'm surprised that people are not just jumping into another lobby to try and play again. Or, you know, if they are, that it takes this long to get into a game. Do you think that the people that were just in would have gone straight in again to look for another game, the same as I did. So... Why does it feel like it's taking too long for the amount of people that should be still waiting to get in to another game? But at least we have done the tutorial. <laughs> we'll count the tutorial, because you had to try and figure these things out whilst in the middle of a game. Which, you know, was too much to concentrate on, like... <laughs> either do the tutorial or play the game. You can't do both. At least the other guy wasn't driving his tank much whilst trying to figure out the tutorial. So, you know, he didn't get that much progress until we were ready. Okay. I would like to play though. <laughs> I would like to play. That would be nice. Um. Boom. Come on. Okay, I'm going to <laughs> try lobbying again because it's probably a cursed lobby. <sighs> I'm sure that that doesn't just reset our entire search. I'm sure it won't have. We'll get into a game quicker, right? Because there's really no reason that that shouldn't have just put us into another game with the same people. What would be good is if there was an option to just like, you know, would you like to enter another game straight away with the same people? 
especially in this early stage, because I would just click, yeah, just send us into another game straight away, and then we just play game after game after game. And so other people can still join an ongoing game, so, you know, they can just join into that instantly without it having to search. And I think that'd be pretty nice, but I can see why they probably wouldn't, but at the same time, it would make sense that they did too, you know? It just make life a lot easier in this particular stage of development. People would get games and not sit waiting in a lobby, which isn't as fun. <laughs> Because no one wants to spend 90% of the time waiting in a lobby and then hardly any time playing a game and then sitting 90% of the time waiting in a lobby again. You know, it's just not as good. <laughs> and it would shove the game much better if you just let us instantly get into another game, instantly into another game, instantly into another game. You know, we get to keep showing the gameplay and not sitting in lobbies. Whilst there are clearly players online playing, and I bet they're all sat in the same lobby as this waiting for another game. Then you can just put us together and let us play it other rounds. Nope. <laughs> you could have just let us keep playing another rounds. And then everyone that joins in would join and just, you know, keep adding to the teams and it would be good. But for now, we wait. Day, we wait. Forever we wait. Forever and the day we wait. We've had <laughs> two games in 47 minutes. Sheesh. And we wait. And we wait. And we wait. But at least it loaded everything in the instantly on the second game, you know. It's like the assets were already loaded in, so it knew what it was doing. Bum, 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 bum. I want to play. I don't want to sit in a lobby talking to myself. <laughs> I want to play. I want to play. This needs to let me play. Bum. Bum. Come on. Too long. Waiting too long to get in game. Need to play game. Essentially only one real round of the game as well, you know. One was we got to play for like 30 seconds and the other one we got a round, <laughs> however long that was. Wasn't that long, probably like 5-10 minutes at most. And the rest of the time we've been sat waiting in a lobby. Oh. Yeah, how's your day? <laughs> how's your day on this stupid heat wave where it's far too hot? It's ridiculous. Oh. 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 Come on. Let me play. Let me play. Let me do something. <laughs> Not just sit looking at this guy on the loading screen. This, we need to play. <laughs> At this point I'm so bored that I'm like, how many apps does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12! He's got a 12 pack. That's overkill. <laughs> I know it's armor. But at the same time, like, you know, if you got a 12 pack also, like, your ribs. So... <laughs> nope. It's a bit weird. Come on, just let me play. I'm bored. And I want to play. And people will not play a game if you sit in a lobby for 10 years, waiting forever. Because there's better things you can do with the time than sit in a lobby, waiting forever. 
And I bet half the people that have been sat waiting have given up and gone off to do something else. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them because there's literally players waiting and you could give us something to do. And we had players in a game just and you could have let us all play on together. Instead, you have us sitting, searching for nothing in a loading screen forever. And waiting <laughs> forever and hoping to be able to get into the game where, you know, now that we know what we're doing, we can try and do some things. Now that I've adjusted my ADS, we can maybe do some things, but searching forever. Come on. It shouldn't take this long. There should be other people playing. Seriously. There really should be the people that we were just in a lobby with. Did they all get to play in? Did I get left out? Because <laughs> I don't think that it would have just been, oh, you just got left out for whatever reason. I think, I think everyone's just sat waiting and searching, but the game isn't quite letting people in. And these are the people that are lucky enough to get to even launch, because as you can see, I was having <laughs> some issues launching the game. And I bet that other people are also having the same problem. Come on, this is far too long to be searching for a game. Far too long. Let me play. I want to play the game. This is boring. It is very boring just sitting in a lobby waiting for nothing. Nobody wants to sit doing nothing. Better things I could. I literally could have filmed my cameo in this time. <laughs> literally could have just taken my phone out, filmed my cameo, and wished somebody a happy birthday with some really random request. <laughs> really could have done that. Really could have already done that. Just in this entire loading screen. In fact, I could have recorded several cameras in this loading time, but you know, I have the spot request today. <laughs> Come on, let me play. Let me play. Let me play. Or I will call it a day. I'm bored and I want to play. Also, I got in another playtest, um, Islands of Insight, so I might do that. Then we've got um, The Expanse, which also came out today, but I'm going to do that tomorrow. And so, you know, I'll do that tomorrow. I might do The Islands of Insight on the weekend, but if I get into Party Animals, then I'll do that because I'll be on the weekend. Um, Busy. And then I need to do VR stuff as well. <laughs> and lots of stuff. Lots and lots and lots of stuff that I need to do. So, you know, busy, busy, busy. But instead we're sitting, talking, waiting forever for a loading screen. It isn't happening. It's 54 minutes now. How is there not any of the people that, that were literally just in the game? How have we not been matched with anything? I play 1v1. I play the three that we began with in the other lobby. I just want to play. I don't want to sit searching in a lobby forever. And they probably all gave up because they were probably like, this takes too long to load with um, Connor and Day. <laughs> and I don't blame them. So if this doesn't get into a game by the time that we reach an hour, I'm just going to call it a day because this is too long to load and I'm not one for sitting in a loading screen forever. It's not fun. It is not fun. It is an interesting concept once you figure it out. <laughs> you know, a lot of the stuff was not working. Like, why are the random mechs that 
don't work with the time powers and then there are some things that do and like you don't even know what the thing is going to do when you put the password on it like how are you meant to know where that plane is going to go when you or the helicopter whatever it's a flying vehicle when you fast forward it you know how were you meant to know where that was going to end up i guess it began on the ground broken and whoever rewound it knew where it rewound from but i didn't it was in the sky and I was just like, activate. <laughs> Maybe it'll go shoot some stuff. And it fell out of the sky and went kaboom. Almost on where I was standing. Okay, this is ridiculous now. Just let me play. Let me play. Let me play. It's too much to let me play. I mean, at least we got to play Abyss. Which is more than it looked like it was going to be because the game wasn't launching initially. But... I don't know what's going on with this loading. I think everyone else just gave up and went home. I really think that's what happened. Everyone else gave up and went home. Because nobody up. <laughs> I might do the same. Well, I will if it doesn't get there in the next four minutes, because, you know, that was like, it's been over 20 minutes since we last played. We've been sat in this lobby and that's not fun. But just sit in a lobby waiting for 20 minutes, talking to yourself, trying to make, trying to make this entertaining while there's nothing on the screen. <laughs> it's a more challenging time than you might think you know you can keep it up for a while but keeping it up forever in perpetuity with nothing on and you know i'd have to then invent things and talk about other things and the whole thing is this meant to be about this game but i can't if the, there's no way that we can play the game interesting that the stat screen doesn't work even though we were given stats at the end of the game you know you're not able to get the stats come on Load up. You know you want to. The challenge is they're probably going to be like rewinds certain objects a certain amount of times, or you know get certain amounts of kills and things, and they probably unlock cosmetics and new weapons and things. Or is it going to be like a battle pass? Who knows? But we are waiting two minutes thirty seconds longer, and if it hasn't happened by then, it's not happening quick enough and I'm bored. <laughs> you know, not enough being able to play too much sitting watching this guy do nothing and nothing to do. And that's, you know, it kills a lot of games. If you're not able to get into the game, it literally just kills the player base as it is. So let me play. There were people playing. And if all you had to do was let us continue playing another game and there would have been people playing and lobbies for people to instantly join into. Instead, we start searching, unable to get into a lobby. And as we're unable to get into a lobby, you know, there's no lobbies for other people to join into. So everyone's just sitting on a searching screen. Because I can't possibly be the only person playing the game right now. <laughs> Considering there were people literally. Like, they wouldn't have all just left after one game, right? And undoubtedly, we've waited enough time for another game to have finished as well in this entire lobby loading screen, and we're still not getting a game. So, you know, if there were people in any games at all playing, <laughs> they would have also finished and been sat in a loading screen and surely we would have gone into a game if you know there were people playing but maybe it's bugged and everyone's just sat in this loading screen waiting and talking to themselves who knows we have 33 seconds left until i decide to call it a day because i'm not sitting in a loading screen forever unable to get into a game <laughs> that is not entertainment boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. 
And the five, I think, is just how many Steam friends are online. Like, would you like to invite people to a game? Well... <laughs> you know, if the games would load, sure. But... It doesn't look like it's gonna load. So... That is, unless it miraculously goes into a game whilst I'm saying an outro, where I'm gonna call it a day! Because... The loading takes too long and I'm not in, in loading streams forever to get a little bit of gameplay. But you know, the game does look interesting. Again, this is a um, pre-alpha playtest, so you know, it's not just open. There's not that many people playing and <laughs> when we're able to get a game, you know, there's games and it seems interesting, but it's just too hard to get into a game at the moment, but I'm sure all this will be fixed by the time it gets released. I'm sure that this won't be like this beyond the playtest. This is the point of the playtest, but you know, it's too hard to get into a game and everyone's just left, so. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to call it today. I'll be back tomorrow with The Expanse. So have a nice rest of your day. Until then, I'll catch you again soon. Bye, bye, bye.